。第十條咧係講二氧化碳嘅運輸嘅。喺小腸產生嘅二氧化碳，佢要去到個肺嗰處做氣體交換，究竟要經過啲咩地方呢？呢條題目咧就考我哋對於血液循環嘅理解啦。由細胞組織所產生嘅二氧化碳，究竟應該點樣走法呢？而第二個要考我哋嘅就係有關於雙循環嘅概念啦。由小腸所製造嘅 CO2， 佢有冇一條血管直接駁去個肺呢？係冇嘅，所以 A 呢就已經錯咗啦。咁你話哦，咁唔駁去個肺咯，咁啊去一去心臟都要啩？咁咪小腸去心臟咯，睇循環啊嘛，係咪？其實都係冇呢一條血管嘅。小腸嘅血係要先經過 hepatic portal wing 去到個肝。再經過肝靜脈去到個心臟，再由心臟泵去個肺做氣體交換，所以答案呢係小腸去肝去心臟去個肺。B 都係錯，係因為佢漏咗個心臟，冇心臟又點泵血呢？咁多位 ？Question twenty is about the transport route of the carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide produced in the small intestine is passed to the lungs for gas exchange. So A B C D, which one is the correct answer? For this question, the concept checking is about the blood circulation starting from the body tissue, and the second concept is about the double circulation. So first of all, we need to know that the carbon dioxide from the small intestine can they directly go to the lungs for gas exchange? Of course not. That's why A is wrong. And what about the carbon dioxide? They go back to the heart first. It's also wrong because there is no direct blood vessel connecting the small intestine and the heart. So the blood they need to go from small intestine to the liver through the hepatic portal vein, and then through the hepatic vein go back to the heart, and then the heart will pump the blood to the lungs. So we should know that the blood will go through the liver, heart, and the lungs. Option B is also wrong because the heart is missing. So how can you pump the blood?